So cortisone is in the steroid class, and what it does is it arrests, by rest, A-R-R-E-S-T, I mean it stops all inflammation. Inflammation is part of the healing process, so it arrests white cells coming in, and the white cells lay down inflammatory molecules, that's why people have inflammation and swelling and sometimes related pain. So it stops that, and there's a hope that sometimes occurs that your body will come in and start healing. But the problem is it also rests the body's ability to heal. So it doesn't have the ability to heal itself. Yes. So it's a stopping agent. And I have had many patients come through and say, yeah, it seemed to help for a little while. And now my orthopedic surgeon says, since it's not working, we're going to have to do a knee replacement or a scope. So it's a, it's a little bit of a, a speed bump to get you into the driveway of knee replacement or sure. uh, that's how I've come to view this that and another thing is it's very easy for me to put in cortisone into these same spaces why don't I want to do it because if I thought it really worked or helped patients I would right so there's a couple differences and I didn't describe what ozone does ozone is a charged oxygen gas so we're already in the non-synthetic world because most people know oxygen is not synthetic and it's required yeah. for life ozone is ionized so the oxygen cleaves now it has an electron to donate and when I put ozone into areas to heal them it a reacts with tissue readily so it causes a healing effect effect just from the reaction and secondly there's aspects of it that I think are very hard to delineate you know, such as quantum signaling or electron signaling that somehow there's a signaling mechanism that uh, asks the cells in your body to come and allow for healing. So increased lymphatics, increased oxygenation, increased signaling to your um, white cells and stem cells for signaling. So it does not arrest anything, nor does it mask anything. So that's a pretty simple summary uh, on why ozone probably works. And in my hands, I find it absolutely supersedes cortisone.